This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, my young detectives. Valdemar here with more Crimes and Punishment featuring Sherlock Holmes. Well, we've beaten the guy in the first round of uh, arm wrestling, so I decided to check him out while I, uh, while I quickly, quickly surveyed his appearance while we're not, uh, you know, arm wrestling here. Although, like I said before, maybe he's doing it the whole time, or maybe he just takes like five seconds. The guy's like, are, are you going to answer me? I mean... This guy's got cheap ass clothes. He's a cheap ass motherfucker. I guess because of the stains on it, I assume. He's got strong hands. Mm hmm. I guess Sherlock Holmes needs a strong man. It's like, no, just kidding. Ugh, yellow nails, huh? Okay, so we're missing one more thing. What are we missing? Oh. Hello, he's got a tattoo. Dun dun dun. I guess we can keep going. I don't know. Maybe you get more out of him I'm if you do that. Alright, let's try this failed attempt. No problem with that. I did beat you the first time, by the way. Just a saying. Although I'll probably lose again or something like that. Wouldn't be surprised. Eh, let's play it. I mean, I could skip it, but why not? stop him from pushing it. Hopefully I'll get this by a little bit faster. The only problem is me running out of, of stamina like right when I get the chance. Okay. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. Nope, 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 nope. Restrain, restrain. Okay, build up some, uh, build up some energy. Nope, 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 nope. Good thing my... Uh, Stamina back up. Got him, got him, come on. Yeah, there we go. That was a lot faster than before. At least now that I figured out his uh his pattern a bit quicker. Instead well, of just pressing A the whole time. You, I reckon you're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. Or he'd like to buy you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. Because Holmes doesn't really need the money, so. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. No job, my friend? Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So, as a result, find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. You're a harpooner, huh? A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. We sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Why, Peter, huh? Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He's a liar and violent, too. He's swinging those fists of his around. He's a tyrant and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Really? Well, let's get you drunk to find out. Let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year, Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn, and I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she'd foundered. And they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. 
I assume I we you all of you viewers who have been paying attention probably know who that is. But we'll ask him. Anyway. I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage is just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye. Oh, even stranger was that on the second night he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. I assume it's that kid's dad, most likely. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. Those that know him won't be surprised to hear it. But all this will stay between us. All right? Of course. Plant pouch, go to toilet. Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. Okay, so we've got a few extra things. We got the fact that Peter Carey did conceal John Nelgan's murder, so maybe maybe the kid found out about that, or maybe this kid was, or maybe he did it because his conscience got to him, or something. So it's almost making the kid seem a little bit more, but though. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and plant the pouch, and oh, we've also got uh, a little. Uh, Little thing about Hurtley. And then we also got a thing about our new friend, Mr. Patrick Cairns. Smoker. So it's probably, I mean, it sounds like it's probably him because his pouch was at the scene of the crime. So, but we'll, uh, we'll see how that, uh, what happens. Really? There has to be a. Here it is. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, so did I just go into the... Ah, okay. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, oh... Oh, it is! So it is his uh, pouch, huh? Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe. If you like, I. I'm done here. It's time to leave. Huh. Interesting. So I mentioned Ahab, uh-huh. Alright, so Patrick Cairns is tied to the pouch. So he was at the scene of the murder. Okay, so Pouch see Cairns has been convicted in the pouch belongs to him. That means he was at the scene of the murder and thus proves his guilty of pouch proves visit. Cairns was con confirmed that his pouch belongs to him, this means he's at the scene of the murder, but does not Well, I'm not he knows he didn't like the man, but that's it. Like, it's... I mean, did he owe him anything other than knowing that he sent the man overboard? That is a interesting... I mean, we could... Okay, so... So there's a couple of ways we can do this. There is the, if I put the proves his guilt and basing it off a feat of strength means he did it. We're kept inside the tin box. Cause that's a tough thing because it, cause I'm not a fan of believing in a and pure, and pure luck, like the whole someone luckily got a shot. I mean, a, uh, let's see what it says here. Karen's guilty. Pierre Karen's murder. P 
Peter Carey is married by Patrick Cairns. Cairns is a professional harpooner. Spacker Patch was found at the scene of the crime. Condemned him as cold blood murder. He has been found guilty of the murder of crime. Must be punished. Absolved Cairns. Patrick killed Peter, but the murder was not preeminent. He was in self defense against an arm. That sound actually that sounds more reasonable because he obviously he'd gone to see him and they were drinking and maybe something happened and then he harpooned him. But I don't know if he's cold blood or not or if it was if it was a, a, a of a drunken sailor, but I want to see what my other options are before I officially Cuz basically you choose I assume you choose what you believe is the Let me see what the game says. Yeah, it just says investigate him. So there's a couple ways I could do it. I could either say that are there any other minor clues on this? No, it's pretty much saying that the, the time is to choose who, uh... Let's see, there's a... Like I said, there's a couple of conclusions here. That's the current one. Um... Yeah, and Hurtley... It doesn't even show Hurtley having anything to do with the... See, Hurtley would... See, the boy would have killed him because of fi maybe finding out that his dad was a... Uh, murdered by him and he was just trying to find out the information. Hurtley could have killed him because, you know, about jealousy, about he's like, oh, I want his wife, and then Carrots could have done it because of maybe getting back at him for killing that man, or maybe he it was just an aggressive assault because they were both drunk and one just went a little bit wild. Because Carrots says he was an asshole, but it doesn't sound like, why. I mean, after he left, why would he want to mess with them after the fact, you know? Let me try to think. Now, can I leave? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That is an interesting case in, in, in that. I like... Th that makes more sense that the, the guy did it. Um, let me... Let me check something really quick, see if there's any... I want to talk to Watson or maybe maybe save him and find out, but I'm thinking it was it was Karen's. Uh, it is uh, weirdly enough, it is the weakest of the of the stories. Like, but but it makes sense because I mean, if you check the cabin, it says he was surprised about what happened. There were two drinks. They were drunk at the time, and it sounds like Peter. Okay, so. Peter knew the person, so it couldn't have been the kid. It either had to be the gardener or or um You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the murderer? Hmm. I but the same there is no there aren't really My any clues that mention table. that like it's why like why he came up there and the lady didn't uh and the lady didn't mention anything about him coming over to begin with. Then again she may have been messing with the gardener at the time. <coughs> Well, I don't have an option for saving, so basically I have to make a choice in uh, what seems the most logical outcome for, for all of our clues. So let me check. So I'm taking so long on this. I, I just want to basically verify everything that I've basically learned in the game before I before I make my final conclusion. Okay, so let's think about this. Conceal the, I was trying to conceal his murder. Okay, so he did that. Um, Patrick had observed him doing that, so he was the only one who was aware of it. So there, he may have see that what may have happened is Peter may have invited him there, and then maybe was gonna kill him because of what he knew, and like the kid had found out about it. So it almost it sounds like it was it was in self defense, and that he was he was gonna get stabbed with the knife, like Peter was gonna stab. Patrick with the knife, and then Patrick just found the closest thing he had and just whipped it at him to not get killed. Um, yeah, see, a lot of it points to that being his pouch, and he even confirmed it. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to think. I'm sit by his own, did send the spot where found the letter. Um, that was his gardener. He, he was military, so he has the strength, but I think the harpooner sounds like the most likeliest thing. Well, the thing is, though, it is interesting that we... Like, there is no footprints of his. It's just Hurtley's boot. Hmm. 
We've, we covered it during come across this. Like, they all have a reason to have killed him. Um. And I don't think the kid could die. I don't think he's strong enough to throw the spear. Like I said, it'd either be hurt or him. Um. Yeah, P Peters doesn't. Sharp knife and the. It hadn't been used, so he, so it was there. But he may, he just probably didn't get a chance to actually stab the guy, but he was about to. Hmm. And he lost the tobacco pouch. That meant he had been there at the time. Um. I'll just verifying the rest of the info here about the garden and everything. Like I said, there is a lot of evidence that point that that Hurtley po uh, possibly did because of there's there's a lot of like note documentations on it. But let's see. Let me check the evidence. Or the exp um, he may have been trying to get money as well, possibly, but he couldn't find it. Maybe he's trying to get a job, like back with Peter again or something like that. Like even after all the crap he did and just all the the crap went down. Hmm. Well, folks, I think I think my official decision is that is that Peter or not Peter, um our Patrick did it. But I don't think he was malicious in his intent. I think he was actually trying to uh trying to uh, trying to defend himself against that so all right here we go I, I don't think the game will tell me if I'm right or wrong it just gives me it just says all right here you go so all right folks that's I mean I'm gonna finish it but that's my stasis on is that I think it was a case of he invited him maybe because he found out maybe about the kid or some information was gonna sell the bonds although but um, It never happened, so... Alright, here we go. Let's absolve Cairns of his crimes. Yep, that's what I think. Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. I'd like to speak with a ship's captain. A Captain Ahab. Is that you? No. My name is Sherlock Holmes. That detective fella? So, you wanted to see me? That is correct. We need to talk. About what? About Black Peter, who was killed in his own hut with a harpoon. You know, don't you? Yes. How? The tobacco pouch. You recognized it. Oh, the sailor. It was you. Unbelievable. Well, fine. I confess. But if you really do know everything, you should also know that I didn't want to kill him. He made me do it. I know. Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? Did you need money? Yeah. I just wanted him to cough up a little silver. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. I reminded him I knew all about that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. You know the truth? What will you do now? I ask that you return the bond certificates. Keep some of them. You will need them in your exile. It is better that you leave the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police? I will not say anything as long as you return the money. Well, I'll do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? I will deal with him. Goodbye. It's good that you asked me to come, Mr. Holmes. We do need to talk. About what? What do you mean? Our case, Mr. Holmes. You sent me a message via your little thug. 
His name is Wiggins, Inspector. Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Holmes, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Eh? His name is, or rather was, Pablo Coventral. He was also on the ship with Peter Carey, and he was a harpooner. I'll tell you everything, Inspector, but do calm down. Mrs. Hudson will bring us tea and orange cake. Orange cake? You're spoiling me, Mr. Holmes. That's my favourite. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Inspector Lestrade told me that I should thank you for clearing my name. He also said that you were waiting for me here. I came as fast as I could. I cannot thank you enough. It is all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. I believe that this belongs to you. My father's securities? Incredible! But how did you get them? It would take far too long to explain. Tell me, this is extraordinary. You are a genius. Then that may serve as an explanation. Goodbye, Mr. Nelligan, and good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes, and thank you. A thousand times thank you. Let's see. Oh, okay. So then we can... Oh, so we can view both endings. See, the fate of Black Peter. But Peter Carey is murdered by Patrick Cairns, a professional harpooner, the only one capable of executing such an accurate throw. His tobacco pouch was found inside Carey's cabin, but the murder was in self-defense against an armed and furious drunken sailor. You've decided to absolve Patrick's crimes. Clues found 16. Cairns is guilty. Absolve. Uh, uh, absolve crime. So we, should ch we could accept the decision, or we can choose another ending to see... Uh, if that's correct, like we could choose to instead of us all, we just we bring him in. We say, "Hey, you did it. You're going to jail. Screw you." You know, which, uh, which for I guess for Holmes, when when that one, be, the ending doesn't really matter. The fact that he solved the crime is the most important. Um, is a uh, is important is finding out what uh, what uh, why the, the 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 issue is. But you know, I want to go ahead and see what the uh, what the game. Hold to check your conclusion. I want to see if I was right. You know, might as well. Out of 16, Karen's is guilty. Haha! -ha! So I did it. So I did choose the right one, but you can basically choose to basically absolve them or call them. So, you know what? While we're here, why not, uh, why not, uh, choose the other one? Yep. Might as well show you guys what, what would happen if, um, if, uh, um, if, um, if I told him he was, uh, if I decided to just throw him in jail, so that at least give us an idea. That way you see both endings. But, but you guys know, and I've recorded it that I did it right the first. Well, actually, there's no way to prove that I actually did it the right the first time because I could have easily have edited it. You'll just have to trust me on that, folks. So let's see what happens when we choose the, the uh, condemn, Karen's storyline. So let's do that. I like the fact that the game lets you see the other options just to see. If you wouldn't mind, Mr. Holmes, could you explain it to me? As I informed you on our way here, Patrick Cairns is the murderer of Black Peter. Why bring me here? Wouldn't it be better if we were out looking for him? That would be futile, as he will be with us in approximately 12 seconds. Oh. Oh, well, if this is your idea of humor. No, I just heard the front door. Prepare yourself. Good day, gentlemen. A young lad gave me a note from Captain Ahab. Am I at the right address? Is he here? Indeed, it is the correct address. But in place of your captain, may I present to you Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard? That means... It means, my friend... You are arrested for the murder of Black Peter. What? What? A trap? You think you can take me? Here now. We'll have none of that. I say that we will. What do we have a punching mini game against this guy? What? Huh. Well, it's a more action y. Uh, more actually end, if anything. 
I mean, not that much actually, but oh well. It's still oh, okay. So ah, oh. why, why? Bam! He is a professional boxer. He knows. He knows his stuff. That is not completely out of the park. <laughs> I even get an achievement for that too. Let me check that really quick. Are you all right? Are you able to stand? Okay. Oh my jaw! Cool. He took me by surprise, Mr. Holmes. Otherwise, he would have seen what I'm capable of. Oh. Yes, he was lucky. Ah. Yeah, but you got him. It was remarkably easy. He lost his balance after he struck you. And you practice boxing, I know. You must have hit him hard. Our fellow is knocked out. Hmm. We should call for a police cab and then take you to the hospital. Yes, well, no need for a hospital. I would prefer to keep this between us. <clears throat> you know. Of course, Inspector. The case is closed. And that's it. So, but basically by... So Cairns is guilty and everything. Just If you basically condemn Cairns, you basically you bring him to justice and you know you find out what it is. Uh, but the kid doesn't... You don't you don't find out where the I guess you don't find out where the bonds are so you can't give him to the kid so he can basically try to make some money maybe get out of where he's going so I mean that's what the decision in this game is you either go with true justice or you go with the truth that's basically what this is truth or justice and if you play the Ripper game they make a good explanation that uh, that uh, that Really, Holmes isn't a a force of justice. He's a force of truth. That's what he. All, that's all he really cares about is just solving the case and knowing what it is. Whatever happens afterwards is really none of. He doesn't care. Like that's that's. I, I like that ex explanation better. But we've solved one case that was a little bit precarious. But can can Sherlock Holmes solve other crimes in the in the city of London, or has he hit his rope, as it were? Find out next time on Crimes and Punishment, Sherlock Holmes, Case 2. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time.